We are going to continue with position vectors. You will find this on page 593 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. We are going to look at a more complicated example. Example 29. In the diagram ABCDEF is a regular hexagon. The vectors A, B, C are the position vectors of A, B and C respectively with respect to the point O. Express the following vectors in terms of A, B and C. Let's start. F, E. F, E. Now remember, this is a hexagon. What does this mean? This means that all the sides will be equal. This also means that this one will be parallel to this one. So basically, it's meaning that BC is an equal vector to FE. So now, let's start. BC, how will I find? First find BC, because if I have BC, I will also have FE, the one that they are looking for. Now, BC, what will be the root? It will be from B to O and from O to C. Always indicate the root before substituting the vectors. It helps to use previous examples. So what is BO? OB is B, but B, O, the direction change, so it's negative B. What is O, C? That's C. So it's basically C minus B. So since this is a hexagon and this two will be equal vectors, I can say that F, E will be C minus B or negative B plus C. Okay, now the next one. A, D. Now let me just indicate it to you. It's going to be A, D. Now before I do this, this is a very important property of a hexagon. And this is why they like to ask it in vectors. So they say regular hexagon is have six equilateral triangles. So the length of a diagonal is equal to twice the length of a side. And, and I'm, I'm first going to clean this and I'm first going to explain this to you. Now, if you take and you combine, okay, I just want to take a ruler. So if you combine all this opposite angles, the diagonals, okay, I want to show you. So you end up with one, two, three, four, five, six. Now that is the six equal lateral triangles. That means that this is equal to this, is equal to this, equal to this, this, but also equal to this. Now, if you look at this, can you see that that is one side and this AD is basically two sides. So this comes the statement, the length of a diagonal, so the length of AD, let's, let's just say it like this, I just want to get the pen correct, the length of AD will basically be two times FE and that, so AD will be two times the length of FE. So keep that in mind. I'm just going to clean everything now again so that we can just focus on this. So if I say, and this is actually the statement I made there, I say AD, okay, and I can indicate it again to you, AD, oh, I just want to take the ruler again, AD is two times FE, and I showed you with the triangles. Okay, so I have FE here, because FE is C minus B, so it's actually just 2 times C minus B. Okay, so it's actually 2C minus 2B. And now the next one, AF. Now let's just see, where is AF? Now AF, let's just take another color, AF is there. There is AF, okay? So AF, now I can just take a different, start at the same place, and end at the same place. So it will basically be AD plus DE plus FE. Because I have AD, I can find EF, and I'm actually, and now I have to first go back, I must actually just first find AB. Because can you see that AB will, is again equal vectors. This two is equal. 
And how can I find A, B? Because I have information on this root. So it will be negative A plus B. So this will also be negative A plus B. Okay, but again, let's do it like this. First write down the root. So if you look at this one, let's just find it. It's going to be A, F. Okay, so we set AF, so it's going to be AD plus DE plus EF. So AD, now we have to look up, there is AD, can you see? So AD, I substitute. What is DE? I found it now, so we say DE was that B minus A. Okay. AD, AD. Okay, but just remember, this was ED, so if I, I'm changing the direction, did you see I changed the direction around? That was in that one. It will just be A minus B, and that's what's happening there, okay? The, the direction is changed from this one there. And then the last one, I change again the direction, do you see? So if I change the direction, it will be B minus C, okay? And now I can just basically do algebra. I can say 2C, Minus, okay, let's start first with A. Okay, I'm just going to restart here. So if I look at this one, there's an A, so it's just one A. And then minus 2B minus B plus B, so it's just minus 2B, that one's cancelled out. And then um, 2C minus C is just C, and that's my final there. And then the last one, BF, now let's just find BF. Now BF, if you look here, here is BF, do you see that? Now again, I just have to find, now I already have this information from there, can you remember? And I have this information because this is this one's answer, can you see, it's just there. Oh, sorry, let me just show, show you better before I'm done. And take red. So this is basically just this one. And I already have this one. So to find then BF, okay, what's the root again? It's BA plus AF. So BA is going to be A minus B, and BF is going to be A minus 2B plus C. So that's going to be A plus A, it's 2A. Minus B minus 2 is minus 3B plus the C and that will. This is a very nice complicated example, but it's really making use of the properties of an hexagon. Okay. I want you to stop the video and I want you to do try now 21 number one. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, so let's start. Now, the star is made of a regular hexagon, so, so this is very important that you focus that it's actually, and I just want to take again the pen, um, it actually just, it was just a hexagon, and basically what they did is they just took the hexagon and they made a star out of it. Okay, center X, surrounded by six equilateral triangles. OA is A, very important, OB is B. Uh, write down the following vectors in terms of A or B, give your answer in this simplest form. Okay, so let's start, let's start. Uh, let's just get the pen correct. So if I look at the first one, A, um, so, and it's the first one, and it's O, and I'm just going to fill in as I move on, O is. Okay, now let's just find, and I'm first going to clean this, you already saw the hexagon. So if I say O is, let's just find O, and let's, oh, that's easy. Okay, now don't forget what I said to you. Even if I mark it like this, but even if I do this with this, okay, it's, it's going to be, they actually said there, equilateral triangles. That means all that triangles will be equal. So if this is A, and now don't forget what I said, that one. But actually, all of them, all the sides, the sides is two times the diagonals. But if this is A, then this will also be A, and this will also be A. Okay, because all this sides will be equal. So A, A, A. So if I ask you O is, it's just going to be 3A. Okay, the next one. So let's go to the second one. Let's see if we can do it here. I think it will work. So if it's AB, 
Now in this case, let's just find A, B. Now remember, start with first write down the root, A, B. So it will be A, O, A, O, plus O, B. So A, O, now if this is A, then A, O will be negative A, and O, B, we have that, it's just B. Or, sometimes it's better to first write the positive in front, so B minus A. Okay, let's look at the next one, the third one. Okay, so the third one will be C, D. Okay, now where will that be? C, D, it's here. Now, don't forget that this two, A, F, okay, I can actually see C, D is equal to, to A, F, and that will just be equal to positive A. Easy as that. Okay. And then the next one, the fourth one. And that's O, R. Now where is O, R? Let's just find O, R first. This is O, O. And I'm going to draw the diagonal so that you can see it. I'm just going to use rather a ruler. It's always best. OR. Okay, now to find OR, I can just go from, let's just find, yes, I think the easiest way will be to, to go from O to C and from C to R. So it's going to be, I'm just going to get my pen correct. So it's just going to be OC plus CR. Okay, so that is going to be O, okay, O, C, let's just see, O, C. Now if this is B, what will this one also be? So it will actually be 2B, and C, R, if this is A, then this will also be A, so it will be 2A. Okay. Okay, and then the next one, the fifth one, um, that will be CF. So let's just find C, and now we just want to see where is F. Oh, I found it. Let's just take a ruler again. CF, that, in that direction. Now let's just make that. So if I look at CF, now the best one will be CF to go, um, let's just see, OC plus, I think it's the best to go, okay, CF, CO, CO, let's just get the pen correct, CO plus Okay, let's just see, CF, okay, CF, so it's CO plus OF. Okay, let's just see. Okay, so it's going to be CO plus OF. So if I go CO, so that will be minus 2B, and if I go OF plus 2A. Plus 2a. Okay, so that's the final one. And then number b, let's just go over to number b. When a is 5, no, that is 5, that's the magnitude. Write down the values of b. Now, if I'm going to say that a, okay, so if I'm going to say that a is 5, okay, let's just write it down. So this is B. So if A is 5, then the magnitude of B will also be 5. And then the next one, A minus B. Now, now let's just find what is A minus B. Let's just find it first. So in this case, it's going to be, let's just see here, A minus B. So it's going to be A. So it's, for example, going to be B, A. Do you agree? Because that will be minus B. So A minus B, let's just check it here. 
If I say, for example, find B, I'm just going to show you here. If I say B A, B A, it will actually be B O plus O A. So it will be minus B plus A, which is actually A minus B. So now you can basically see that in this case, I'm going to say, but this is also just a side of the equilateral triangle. Therefore, if I say A minus B, I'm actually referring to BA, and this is BA, which is also a side. So if that is magnitude is 5, that magnitude is 5, then this magnitude will also be 5. Okay, so just find what that stands for. That actually just stands for BA, okay? And then the magnitude will also be 5.